Norfolk have been getting free health checks as part of a day of events highlighting lung problems. The tests were for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a term covering a number of conditions commonly caused by smoking. People often suffer with a persistent cough, chest infections or even breathlessness. It's thought there could be around 8,000 undiagnosed sufferers in Norfolk alone. It is the fifth largest killer in the UK. It kills more people than breast cancer and more men than prostate cancer a year and yet very few people know about it. Because it's a chronic disease we normally see patients when they are already fairly disabled about, by their breathlessness. And while we know smoking is bad for your health, an ashtray that belonged to Winston Churchill has fetched £4,200 at auction in Norfolk. The 200-year-old silver dish was used by the wartime prime minister at a political dining club he co-founded in 1911. The sale price was almost three times the figure expected and it's apparently gone to a UK buyer, but it's not thought Churchill actually used it for the cigars he famously smoked. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a fact. Since the first National Lottery draw on November the 19th, 1994, more than 2,300 new millionaires have been created. Yeah, not two of them here, unfortunately. <laughs> now, that's a lot of winners, but one of them is notorious for being more of a loser. He is, of course, Michael Carroll, the former bin man from Kings Lynn in Norfolk, whose string of convictions meant he was soon dubbed the Lotto Lout. Well, seven years on, most of his £9.7 million pounds are gone, but he says he's never been happier. And as part of our series this week to mark the 15th anniversary of the lottery, Natalie Gray has been to meet him. So what are your thoughts when you see your young self there? I look like a bean pole, don't I? <laughs> Michael Carroll was just 19 when he won nearly 10 million on the lottery. He already had several convictions for joyriding, theft and criminal damage and was wearing an electronic tag when he picked up his cheque. He's 26 now but remembers how he thought his big win would change everything. What were your hopes and dreams then? Just buy a big house and just, I don't know, fairy tales, really live happy ever after. But it wasn't to be. Tagged the Lotto Lout by the tabloids, he lived up to his image. He'd spend £2,000 a day on crack and terrorise the genteel Norfolk town of Swatham with drug fuelled parties. He drove neighbours to despair by crashing dozens of cars in his backyard. And in 2006, he was sentenced to nine months in jail for a fray after barging into a Christian disco and threatening teenagers with a baseball bat. Were there times during the bad times that you thought, actually, I wish I was just a bin man again? And my life was ordinary, nobody knew who I was. Some days, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did you feel cursed? Mm, in a way, but that's a good curse and a bad curse, isn't it? His autobiography, Careful What You Wish For, charts how this winner became such a loser, reportedly blowing eight million of his fortune within four years. You won £9.7 million. Pounds. Has it all gone? Is there anything left? You'll all have to keep on thinking of that in your brains, won't you? Have you got anything left? Yep. You have? Yep. So you haven't blown it all? No. No. But Michael Carroll, it seems, is a changed man. Has Michael Carroll grown up then? Yep. You've matured? <laughs> Calmed down? Yes. Are you still on the drugs? No. Nope. Ever seen a fat druggie in the life? <laughs> no. <laughs> how long have you been clean? Four years. Gosh. And how long have you been out of trouble? Just, and oh, probably around about the two year mark. Will you ever go back to those days? No. Why not? That's a mugs game, isn't it? <laughs> He's happy to stay in more, thanks to his girlfriend Gemma and their ten month old daughter Faye. He's also pursuing an acting career. This is him as a bodyguard in the recent film Jack Said. But in his newest film, he plays himself. Do you think that's the way forward? Are you hoping to get sort of bigger roles? I'll take any role that will come forward. <laughs> but that's what you'd like to be, Michael Carroll, actor. Yep. Michael Carroll owes much to his agent, Sean Borrow, who saw good in Michael when he offered to pay for the Christmas lights in his hometown of Downham Market but was turned down. I'm not saying that Michael... Um, wasn't a bad person in the past. Yes, he was. But I think he's dealing with that. He's still dealing with it. He hasn't dealt with it entirely. 
But I think he's dealing with it, and I think he's dealing with it very positively. I asked him if he had any money left, and he wouldn't tell me. Let me ask you, as his agent, has Michael blown the lot? Um, he's blown most of it. I will say to you that Michael has got enough money left, which is tied up, by the way, but he'll never have to work again. And if you're wondering if Michael Carroll still buys a lottery ticket, then yes, occasionally he does. Natalie Gray, Anglia News, down a market. Because clearly he knows the system sometimes works. What a transformation, though. Uh, Extraordinary, isn't it? Michael Carroll there and how he's hoping to turn his life around. Well, he's one lottery winner, but in a way we all are, because as Natalie tells us in tomorrow night's show, over a billion pounds of lottery money has been spent in our region alone over the last 15 years. Quite incredible. Well, that's tomorrow. But first, here's what to expect on the national news in just a couple of minutes. 6.30. But before that, Amanda is here with the latest weather news. Uh, now, Amanda, tell us me about today, really. I got up, I went for a walk, it was grey, it was windy, it was blowy. It had a lot today, didn't it? <laughs> I know, tell me about it. Yeah. I decided to go to the gym very early this morning and nearly Shut got... Off. I know. Nearly got blown off my bike with those winds. In fact, it has been very gusty out there all day today. A gust up to 65 miles per hour. That was recorded. That yes, that was in Weybourne in Norfolk. Now, it may seem fairly calm out there at the moment, but hold on to your hats as there's more wind to come tonight. Let's take a look at the forecast. And on that note, it's time for us to say goodbye, though I'm not sure I want to go outside in all that wind, no, to be honest. No, staying in put. So right to the end of the last bulletin tonight. Till then, goodbye. Bye-bye.